Hey friends, welcome. Uh, we were discussing thermodynamic functions in terms of partition function, and in our previous video, we have discussed internal energy and heat capacity in terms of partition function. Uh, today, the third thermodynamic property that we are going to discuss is entropy. And entropy, we know it is represented by S. We are going to derive entropy in terms of partition function. In order to derive entropy, we will consider that uh, we are taking a system consisting of ni number of particles and all the particles are indistinguishable and those particles are distributed amongst several energy states. So we are taking ni number of particles and that ni number of particles are distributed amongst gi state. So for such system, the thermodynamic probability w can be written as we can write g1 raised to n1 upon n1 factorial into g2 raised to n2 upon n2 factorial and so on up to gi raised to ni upon ni factorial. So this is how we can write the thermodynamic probability of distributing ni number of indistinguishable particles amongst gi energy states okay so hence uh, i can write w is equal to uh, for multiplication as you know we can write it by capital pi gi raised to ni upon ni factorial now what we will do is we will take logarithm on both hand sides and hence logarithm i can write ln of w is equal to and as we know that logarithm multiplication is a addition function and hence this pi will be converted into summation and hence i can write summation i can write ni ln gi minus summation of ln ni factorial okay now further we know sterling's approximation that is uh, sterling's approximation it says that ln x factorial can be written as x ln x minus x so similarly this factorial term we can simplify by using sterling's approximation and hence we will have minus summation ni ln ni minus or minus minus it will be plus summation ni summation ni can be written as n and we will have summation ni ln gi minus summation of ni ln ni plus n now from maxwell boltzmann equation we can write ni upon n is equal to gi e raised to minus ei upon kt upon q where q is our partition function so this relation we will take logarithm of this particular real relation when we take logarithm then we can write ln ni minus ln n that is equal to we will have ln gi minus ei upon kt minus ln of q okay because ln gi and this is e, e raised to minus so e raised to minus and ln they will they are opposite of each other and hence we will have only minus e upon kt and this minus ln q is on division so we will have minus ln of q okay now further we are trying to get the term in this particular representation that is summation ni ln ni in this particular term we will convert it in the form of summation ni ln ni and for that what we will do is we will multiply both hand sides by ni we will multiply both hand sides both sides by ni and when we multiply both sides by ni we will have ni ln ni minus ni ln n is equal to ni ln gi minus ni ei upon kt minus ni 
ln q now we will take this particular term on right hand side so we will have ni ln ni is equal to ni ln n plus ni ln gi minus ni ei upon kt minus ni ln q further what we will do is we will take both these terms together so when we take both these terms together and we will keep q in numerator and n in denominator so in order to do that what will we what we need to do is we will take minus common and hence we will have minus ni ln q by n plus ni ln gi minus ni ei upon kt okay now further as i told we have to convert this term in this particular form so we will take summation over all quantum states or we will take summation and hence we will have summation ni ln ni is equal to minus summation ni ln q by n plus summation ni ln gi minus summation ni ei upon kt so we will have this particular term and now this term that is summation ni ln ni we will substitute it over here in this particular form so when we substitute that we will have ln w is equal to summation ni ln gi the first term will be as it is minus now we have minus over here so this minus and this minus it will be plus and the rest of the terms will be minus plus accordingly we can adjust the sign so we will have plus summation ni ln q by n minus summation ni ln gi plus summation ni ei upon kt plus n so this will be the term and over here this both these terms will be cancelled out so hence we will have ln w is equal to summation ni ln q by n plus summation ni ei upon kt plus n further ln q by n is a constant term so we will have only summation ni and this summation ni ei can be written as e so we will have ln q by n and again summation ni i can write it as n so i can write n summation n i can be written as n in ln q by n plus summation n i e i we know that it is equal to the total in amount of energy upon k t plus n and we have already found out the representation of internal energy in terms of partition function and that is equal to e is equal to r t square d l n q by dt so this is the representation of internal energy in terms of partition function so we can substitute this particular value in this representation and hence we will have n ln q by n plus rt square upon kt into d ln q by dt plus n further r i can write it as n into k where n is the number of moles and k is our boltzmann moment constant so i will have n ln q by n plus we will have n into kt square upon kt into d ln q by dt plus n over here k k and 1t will be cancel out so ln w will be equal to n ln q by n plus n t d ln q by t plus n now we are finding entropy in terms of partition function so entropy we know boltzmann equation that is s is equal to k ln of w so we have ln of w and this ln of w we can substitute in this particular relationship and hence we will have s is equal to and i can take n common out 
so I will have k into n we will have ln of q by n plus t into dln q by dt plus 1 and this is the relation for entropy in terms of partition function again k into n I can write it in the form of r where r is our real gas constant so I can write ln r into ln q by n plus t into dln q by dt plus 1 so this is the final relation for entropy in terms of partition function q hope the derivation was clear thank you very much